Who, or what, were the rock apes of Vietnam? Welcome back to Unsolved Mysteries, an exploration into strange occurrences, phenomena, and disappearances in the historical record. The Vietnamese War is one of the most iconic and traumatizing conflicts in the modern history of the American military. Returning GIs from the war would tell hundreds of stories about the people and things they saw while there. But one common recounting of the war has never been satisfactorily explained, the apparent presence of a gigantic race of hostile primates in the jungle which has never been corroborated by historians or scientists. Just as it is today, the jungle of Vietnam was a deep, dark, and remote place in the 1960s. As the war intensified and more and more American soldiers found themselves deployed into the depths of the jungle, so too did more stories develop that there was something else. Living in the trees with them. Many GIs returned with harrowing reports that it was not just the enemy Viet Cong who were attacking them. Soldiers described hostile encounters with a humanoid race of ape-like creatures dubbed rock apes. They were anywhere from four to seven feet tall when standing upright. They had stoutly built bodies and muscular physiques. Their stomachs were protruding, and their bodies were covered in dark red hair, except for the feet, knees, hands, and face. And finally, they were extremely hostile. The name Rock Ape was given to them because they would hurl boulders at any soldiers they encountered, rocks that were sometimes 300 to 400 pounds in weight. Even worse, they moved stealthily through the forest and were completely unfazed by humans, oftentimes coming almost face to face with a soldier before he even realized they were there. The following is an account by Corporal Alfonso Virial, who interviewed for the Refugio County Press in 2017. Off in the distance, he and his comrades saw what looked like a large medicine ball moving toward them through a ravine. The object kept moving toward them until it was right up on the end of a rifle. The Marine tapped the thing. And the thing started screaming, yelling, waving its arms all over, and running away. It was a baby rock ape, Vireal said. Rock apes are indigenous to Vietnam's hills and rocky areas. Then on top of the steep sides of the ravine came large boulders, some maybe weighing 300 to 400 pounds. The boulders were coming from the rock apes adults. Later, the adult apes were coming down the path toward the platoon. They were dauntless. They were like gorillas, Virial said. And they had four to five inch fangs. We had to shoot them. I think there were about 17 of them, he said. The little rock ape was not among the dead rock apes. I've never seen anything like it, he said. These primates were encountered by GIs everywhere in the war, and over multiple years. One particular mountain on the Suntra Peninsula had so many sightings that it was dubbed Monkey Mountain. So what exactly were these creatures? A few theories have been postulated. Orangutans? Initially, commanders dismissed reports of these creatures as misidentified orangutans. The problem here is twofold. Firstly, the rock apes were consistently sighted in groups whereas orangutans are solitary animals. And moreover, there are no known orangutans in Vietnam. The last known group of orangutans in the area is thought to have become extinct 1,000 plus years ago. And despite Vietnam being combed over by scientists and biologists and zoologists for decades doing various forms of research, no new species of still existing orangutan has ever been discovered here, except in the stories of American GIs. Gibbons? The gibbon is a type of monkey that still indeed does exist in the Vietnam jungle, so could the stories be a garbled recollection of encounters with these? They do live in social groups and can be threatening. However, the average weight of a gibbon is 20 pounds. This does not square at all with the consistent stories told by soldiers that the creatures were hundreds of pounds and over six feet tall. Enemy soldiers? The Viet Cong were known to camouflage themselves very well and would sometimes present themselves as wild as possible to scare the enemy American soldiers. Perhaps the sightings of so-called rock apes were just encountered by hostile troops concealing themselves in jungle wear? This seems unlikely though given the detailed description of the primates and the fact that many primates were described as being very small, a.k.a. young offspring. Furthermore, 
the Vietnamese themselves encountered the apes and were attacked by them. In 1974, an expedition under General Huang Ming that was carried out in the hopes of capturing one of these apes alive. This would make no sense if the rock apes were Viet Cong. Bullshit? Of course, with any cryptid sighting we must entertain the notion that the stories are either completely made up by later writers looking to tell a scary story, or at the very least exaggerated. So what was it? What is the identity of the humanoid creature that silently stalked American GIs at night in the Vietnamese jungle from atop trees, and caused so much panic and terror when it descended to attack them? With the war being long over and traffic into the jungles decreasing as a result, we may never know. Fighting is the discovery of a new monkey. Uh, this snub-nosed monkey was found in Kachin State in Myanmar, which is a remote and mountainous region. This monkey is in fact well known to locals who would spot the black and white monkey in the rain with its head between its knees, shielding it from the rain running into its upper.